record-breaking prices at the pump. People are stunned by today's gas prices. Oh my God. Why did gas get so expensive? The reason for that is because of Putin's war. The trouble with blaming Putin's war is that most of the price rise came before Ukraine was attacked. So some politicians blame price gouging and corporate greed. Rising gas prices, smacks of price gouging. Excess profit. Well, they just raise the price to make more money. Well, if big oil could raise prices anytime they wanted and get away with it, then why were they so cheap in 2020, 2019, 2018? Ben Lieberman of the Competitive Enterprise Institute rightly points out that companies are always greedy. The greed didn't just start now. Prices change because of supply and demand. During COVID, with fewer people driving, the price of oil dropped. So oil drillers did less drilling. Now people are driving again, but it takes time for the producers to adjust. The truth is, it takes months, not days, for companies to increase production. The president gets that, but he ignores how his policies reduce production. He just canceled a long-planned sale of offshore oil rights. Before that, Biden stopped drilling in the Arctic. No more drilling on federal lands, period. Period, period, period. Why stop drilling? I'm refusing to sell out the Arctic National Wildlife Reserve to oil and gas drilling. But drilling has long been done without selling out nature. It leaves only a tiny footprint on massive land areas. We typically put multiple wells on a single pad, reaching in different directions deep underground to minimize disturbance to the surface. Drilling in Anwar would have used less than one-tenth of one percent of the land. The real reason Biden cracked down on drilling is because his supporters want less oil produced, claiming that'll slow climate change. Yeah! Now activists want Biden to kill what they call the Black Snake Pipeline, which would bring oil from Canada to Wisconsin. They've already delayed it five years. They delayed the Keystone Pipeline 16 years until Biden killed it altogether. Since Keystone alone cost pipeline companies $15 billion, who would ever try it again? But it sends a strong signal that others shouldn't even bother because they'll run up against a buzzsaw. It's so counterproductive. Killing pipelines doesn't even help the environment. Oil still gets shipped, but by more polluting methods, trucks, trains, barges, all of which increase the risk of spills. 9,000 gallons of fuel ended up on the highway after this tanker truck crashed. One final example of our stupid energy politics. Last fall, this grandstanding California congressman scolded oil executives. Are you embarrassed as an American company that your production is going up? They produce too much oil, he said. Would you commit to reducing production of oil? We're committing to lowering our emissions. No, are you committed to lowering the, the production? We're going to lower emissions, which is the okay, source Okay, I'll of take that as a no. Decline. Absurdly, now that gas prices are up, the congressman goes on TV to say they should produce more oil. And they're still not increasing the productions. We asked Kana for an interview. He declined. They aren't increasing production. It's amazing what $4 gallon gasoline in an election year will do to, uh, to cause some people to change their minds. Still, the protesters aren't totally crazy. We have to protect the earth, and sometimes the market isn't the best director. There is pollution, and there is a reason to, uh, to want to address it at times, but we have to be realistic about the fact that these threats are repeatedly exaggerated. In the public debate, you're losing. They're winning. At $4 a gallon gasoline, I think we're seeing a rethinking of the climate agenda. Too many families are struggling to keep up with their bills. Biden shifted focus at his State of the Union. I get it. That's why my top priority is getting prices under control. They're having to respond because gasoline prices are very unpopular and it's an election year. But in truth, they want to force people away from fossil fuels. It's a very painful process, but that's what they really want. Climate change poses an existential mm -hmm. threat to our lives. The Biden administration either has to choose between affordable energy or the climate agenda. It can't do both. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you get the next one.